So what really happened with spirituality is that the ultimate weapon, which is what, what you would call magic, the magic of the situation, what's new, right, was taken away from us. We were robbed of our firsts. We had this ability to continuously create new things. Then all of a sudden we were put in a circle or a cookie cutter. So oh, this is all you can get. This is as much as you could do. The best you could be is like this person. You see what I mean? So this is now time that we have the opportunity to break out of that. But it also is about, do you really want this? Notice how in any kind of story where there was someone about to do a miracle, there was a question asked to the individual. They said, do you really want this? Do you really want to be healed? Because there's a knowledge that says that, of course, all of what you're going to have to do to repair the vessel that you've, that you've done damage to is going to challenge how much you really want to do it. Because at times, certain things are going to have to be cut out. I mean, certain things you're going to have to stop. So this is what I call flying into the face of, my, of the sun, my friend. As you're flying into the face of the sun, it's a pipeline. As you're going, all of what you have is stripped off of you. So hopefully there's a lot of truth to you because after that happens, that's what will remain. It's just like a person that has like the crown jewels and everything. When that's taken from them, how do they act? Were, are, were they just being defined by the crown jewels? Same thing with a magician. He does certain magic tricks. Then the magic tricks don't work anymore. It cease to fascinate people. Does that mean he's no longer anything? Because he just got bundled up as being his magic tricks? You see, so there is a much deeper lesson that is taking place here on this planet with us in real time. And it's gotten to the point where, as a 2012 crossover, it's happening in real time. <laughs> We're actually in an environment where people around us are galactic resonators. They are actually planetary constellations running by the house, driving in the car, calling you on the phone and everything. And we're still not in the know of recognizing that this is exactly what is happening. And then start getting to the point where you can control it. If there's the only thing that you can control, this was the key, the apex to this being that you're in, was that you, the only apex of this was you could control it because you can control yourself. You see, this is why this was what made us so different than things running on instinct, which is a lot of the lower frequencies, the animals and the creatures and the monsters. They run based on what they're told to run on. You see, look at uranium and look at iridium and look at many of these molecules that are used in constant explosions. They don't have a will. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's man with, and woman with the will. So do you see where the power is? You see the pentagram, they, throw, they, they give it to everyone, throw it all around the place, put magical stuff and citrus in it, right? But look at your hand. That's the real pentagram. That's the hammer that was used to build. Every single thing in this physical reality, it took our hands to start to construct it first before it ever came into existence. That's why it means so much. And you're carrying a double hammer. You got two hands. But the, this is the hammers of Thor, though. Only Thor can pick them up, meaning that only the individual that is ready to see their godlike consciousness can use their hands to actually regenerate this reality. Other than that, it's just like playing. We're benched. No energy, no knowing of what's going on, lost in abyss, waiting to see a light. So as we shine through, because that's what we're doing, we'll light this entire, I tell you, there'll be a day where this entire night sky will light up and there will no longer be any darkness. There will no longer be where we, f we see ourselves far in the galaxy. Do you know closer that you get into the core, the lights are so bright that it all looks like they're together? Listen to what I'm saying. You're on a planet where you look out at the sky at night and you see these little glimmer of stars. But if you took off, but it would be going to the innerverse, into the implosive center of yourself, eventually the light would get so bright you would not see any separation. There would be no darkness. And then you would know that you've made it again. And that's the whole thing about Earth that I discovered in his files. This thing was going on all the time. It was like the last people or last beings here just cleaned up a couple things, put a couple monuments away, and let this thing run again. I told you a story today about the story that is the most popular that is running that has all metaphors, and it's about Atlantis. 
because it gets into many other dynamics. It gets into other entities. It gets into creating souls and animals. It gets into using basically the planet like an organic PlayStation and creating things. It gets into a lot of stuff. But I think what was most important today that was uh, what was most important was what was projected today. Pole position. You have to now have the balance because remember, in the king's hand, he holds a scepter. That scepter is the symbol of his power. Right? Now, Inside of you, that scepter is your spine. If you are holding your spine or your pole or you're centered in yourself, you are in control. Right? But if you're on the tree or the zigzag or the other serpents or the other organs in your body serving them, if you're doing that, then you're off balance. And that off balance causes a wobble. Then you're no longer like the Prius of the universe. You're more like Jabba the Hutt. So people need to see that, look, when you're ready to leave into the next frequency, it was just waiting on you. But that's why I said, do you do you really want it? But it helps us all to know that it's in reach. And that's what we did for each other. There was a danger when we wrote about this. This is another thing that you have to understand, Chris. When we wrote about spiritual knowledge, that also gave it the opportunity to fall into the hands of individuals that were based and primitive and took it on an external level you see what i mean that's why they kept hiding the holy books because they said yeah this thing is like it's beneficial for the adept but for but for the the fool it's destructive and that's what we're also talking about when we're talking about the body i'm not talking about magical books i'm talking about all the actions that we're actually making through this planet whether we're being coerced to do it or not is accumulating in a giant stream of our own timeline. And that when you do leave here, and you will, everyone does, you only wake up in another reality that you've laid across through your stream. You see what I mean? So we're now moving into the point where we know how to lay out those tracks that they call DNA. They're like railroad tracks. You can pull some out and insert some in. Some people say, well, what do you mean? Or you could change the past. Of course you can change the past right now. (laughs) <laughs> All you have to do is start behaving as if it doesn't didn't occur, right? By going to it and saying you were confused. You saw the world through that one's prism, meaning the one who caused the damage. So his entry or her entry left an imprint on you. But that imprint is not you. So you see, this is the deepest level of psychological uh, and, and spiritual and, and, and physical uh, um, surgery that can ever really be performed. And that's why I'm saying I'm not necessarily you know, actually these days I've done it. For, I'm hearing that I'm doing it for multiple individuals, but I am also learning this as a student of it. But this drive is coming from I want to assist others and I want to assist myself. Because I see no difference. I know that all is self. And I'll end this whole conversation with this tonight. People need to know what happened to me. How I got like this. And me and, and my good friend Thomas are putting something into uh, in the studio together now. But I've never talked about that because it's never been something that I, oh, I was on the cold floor of the ship of the alien, the alien probe me. I was in there and then the Great White Lodge. <laughs> that seems to be everyone's story. They come up with, they use that as their, their entry point to how they're going to explain themselves and how, what's going on in the dimension. That's not what I did. I described the mission of what we need to do. But I'll tell you, there is a higher state of consciousness within you and there is a way to awake it. To awake it is something to the tune of causing an implosion inside of your body, a very powerful one that causes a chain reaction. They call this Kundalini. And as you're going through the chakras, the energy center of the body is continuously increasing. It is very vivid. It's not something that you have to imagine is happening. As it keeps coursing through, if it reaches any blocks, you will actually physically overheat. Okay? Or you will blow a certain part of yourself. It can cause a disease or an ailment. And this is why they had to lock up the books on this. It's like the fool is going to just attempt to try to unlock the chakras. He doesn't even know why he became or she doesn't even know how she became a fool, <laughs> which, they, which they're going to actually encounter when they become all seeing and all knowing. 
So when you're moving through this massive energy field and you start to encounter the truth about yourself, and if it doesn't become what you want to see or what you thought you were going to see, uh-oh, that means you see it as separate than you. This is called going crazy. This is why people talk to themselves. This is called the Babylonian syndrome. This is called the Jerusalem syndrome. This is called Kundalini, what is it? Overexcitement of Kundalini. It's when a person goes crazy. There's hospitals full of these people. I also have a formula, a method, which we've developed over time that can even bring those kind of people back. I'm telling you, your love for the individuals that are around you and how it's waning is caused because our reality is being bombarded. Like we have to get to the point where we understand how to create a a physical, mental, spiritual, impulsive device out of ourselves and detonate it. Meaning that you become an energy powerhouse in the center that you're in and it will activate this grid. That's how it works. I sat and I've read thousands of books. I've been given the opportunity to be able to have time to do this from all the individuals that have believed and supported the resistance and astral quest, etc. But in every moment, I've felt the weight of that responsibility. I have not been sitting back here twiddling my thumbs. And nor has anyone with me. But if you can hear something today, know that this is serious, that are, there are many in pain because of this situation. And that's why I think that this came up today. So if you can, if you're one of those individuals that know how to convert pain into your strength, then start listening to this knowledge and start allowing it to let you, under, let you understand how to unlock your body, your mind, and your soul, and how to see the reality that is right in front of you, but is often misinterpreted because we don't have the right knowledge. But now it's here. So that's really uh, all I have to say, Chris. I, I wanted to say thank you for, you know, being... Uh, obviously uh available for this today because you know the questions and the responses and the things are were totally motivated based on our interaction but i also again want to be available if there's uh there's any questions that you have or anyone else has especially directly because i have reached a point where i got the knowledge of this planet and a few other ones adjacent to me i see a galactic program a map that i can use in any world i a world i appear in and so any type of uh, geodynamics or geoenergetic systems that you need to understand fully, like where to start, I can totally enlighten you on the situation. 